The journey to the edge. The journey to the edge of everything we once called home. Everything familiar. Everything comforting. Everything safe. For more than four decades, Voyager 2 has drifted steadily outward, leaving behind the warm, golden glow of the sun. Leaving behind the worlds that shaped our understanding of the cosmos. It passed the planets we grew up with, their names etched into childhood textbooks, woven into night sky dreams, crossing into realms no human had ever seen. No imagination could fully capture the vastness it traversed. One by one, the world slipped behind it. Mercury, small and scorched. Venus, shrouded in thick clouds of acid. Earth, our fragile blue cradle. Mars, cold, silent, and desolate. Jupiter, roaring with storms larger than worlds. Saturn, crowned with rings of ice and stone. Uranus, tilted unnaturally on its side. Neptune, glowing faintly at the edge of sunlight. Voyager 2 became a silent witness, to alien moons, to unseen magnetic fields, to invisible rivers of charged particles, and then beyond the Kuiper belt, beyond the last remnants of planetary influence, into territory truly unknown, regions so distant and unfamiliar even our most advanced models could offer only guesses. Launched in 1977, Voyager 2 was never meant to last this long. A tiny, fragile spacecraft carrying the hopes, dreams, and curiosity of an entire generation. Engineers expected failure. Silence. An end somewhere along the way. Yet decades later, it still whispers across billions of kilometers of emptiness. Then, without warning, those whispers change. Voyager 2 reached the edge. The helipause, the invisible boundary where the sun's influence finally yields to the raw forces of the galaxy. Scientists imagined a gradual transition, a gentle fading of solar dominance. Voyager 2 proved them wrong. The change was abrupt, violent. Radiation levels spiked. Plasma density surged like storms crashing into calm waters. Magnetic fields twisted, buckled, and reoriented themselves. Crossing the helipause was not peaceful. It was not a quiet drift. It was stepping directly into a cosmic tempest. The heliosphere is real. It is alive. Within it, the violence of the galaxy is muted, held back by the steady breath of the sun's solar wind. Outside, space is restless, unpredictable, turbulent, dangerous. The heliosphere expands and contracts with the sun's 11-year cycle. It bends beneath galactic winds. Fragile, uneven, dynamic. In 2019, Voyager 2 went silent. Its instruments froze. Transmission ceased for hours. Engineers feared the inevitable. The spacecraft had been lost to the void. Then, against expectation, it rebooted. The signal returned. Voyager 2 survived, but it returned change. Anomalies appeared in the data. Hints of forces we barely understand. Interstellar space is not calm. It is alive, filled with shifting radiation, magnetic turbulence, silent cosmic storms sweeping endlessly through the dark. And then came the most mysterious discovery of all, magnetic alignment. The sun's magnetic field, the galaxy's magnetic field, unexpectedly synchronized, aligned as if in quiet agreement. Either the sun shaped its galactic neighborhood over millions of years, or our solar system was born aligned within a far larger cosmic structure. The helipause may not be a simple boundary. It may react. It may respond. It may remember. Voyager 2 carries the golden record. A gold-plated disc etched with the sounds of Earth, music, heartbeats, greetings in dozens of languages, a map pointing unambiguously back to our home. If the helipause is reactive, if it records what passes through, 
What have we revealed to the galaxy? Voyager 2 was never expected to last this long. Yet it drifts on, still sending whispers across the void. Our solar system is wrapped in a fragile, living shield. Beyond it lie turbulence, storms, cosmic currents without mercy. The heliosphere is alive. Voyager 2 has crossed it nearly half a century later. It continues into the unknown. And one question echoes across the darkness. Will it remain only an explorer, or has it begun to leave its mark on the cosmos itself?